Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have successfully completed the files concept. Now I hope that you are very much comfortable with the file system handling the files in the Node.js. Now what we need to do it is the next concept which we need to learn it in our Node.js is the streams concept. So what is this streams? So this is one of the crucial and also one of the important concept in the Node.js. So this streams is the concept which has made Node.js more popular today so that is the reason we need to learn the streams so let's try to understand about the streams concept so i will try to give you an overview of this one so in the upcoming videos please try to follow with me so that the concept is so much crucial and also little bit harder also to understand so if you understand once the streams concept so whatever it may be the programming language so it will be easy for you to understand the logic and all those things so this is one of the important concept so please bear with me and without skipping the video so try to understand so if you want to become a serious developer so understanding the node.js streams a deep dive streams are one of the most important concept in the node.js not only the in the node.js any programming language if you are dealing with the backend means streams are one of the most important concept in the node.js in fact, Node.js wouldn't be as popular as it is today without its efficient stream handling. So that is the main thing which I was supposed to tell you that Node.js now it is so much popular today is because of the streams so efficient handling of the streams. As a Node.js developer, truly understanding streams is crucial for building high performance memory efficient applications. So this one you need to understand it clearly. So if you want to become a serious Node.js developer means you, need, you must truly understand the streams concept. It is very much crucial for building the hyper high performance and memory efficient applications. We will try to see these all have what is meant by high performance and memory efficient applications and all those things in our upcoming videos. So don't uh, skip the videos and follow the things so that you can have a clear understanding about the streams concept. So the next point which I would be trying to tell you is why do streams seems hard to understand. Okay. So all the developers and all the things. So if you try to contact everyone, so they find streams will be a little bit hard to understand. Many developers find streams as a confusing concept. So that is the main thing. They read multiple tutorials, but still feel like they don't, they don't fully grasp the concept. So now also, if you try to me also, when you try to learn different, different articles and different, different ways, it seems to me that I am able to understand the streams, but sometimes I may be feeling that I don't fully understand the concept. So that is the main thing. However, streams are not necessarily different, difficult. They just require a solid foundation in the Node.js. That's it. With the right approach and enough time, anyone can master them. So that's why you need to keep so much of efforts in order to understand the streams concept. That is, the, that, that is what I want to explain it to you. So, however, streams are not necessarily difficult. They just require a solid foundation in the Node.js. With the right approach and enough time, anyone can master them. So, that is the thing. So, now, let's try to understand here. So, our approach to learning the streams. So, what is our approach in learning the stream? Instead of just briefly covering the streams and showing a few examples, so this guide aims to provide a deep and thorough understanding. So whatever the guide I am providing you in this upcoming videos, I will provide a deep and thorough understanding about this one. By the end, you will be able to use streams confidently in your applications. So that's what my uh, goal is. So so that whatever the things I know, so I, I cannot tell that I have what I was telling is correct. Whatever the concept I know, I will try to explain you the streams confidently so that you can able to use your, your applications without any problem. So this learning journey will take some time, but it is a worth it. Let's outline what we will cover. Okay. So the things what we are trying to learn, it will be somewhat little bit boring, but it's uh, truly what I was saying is uh, what I was trying to say it is if you want to become a serious developer, uh, serious developer, or if you want to do it means, so this is worth learning. So that is what I, I can explain. I can tell you one thing. So please bear with me and try to learn the streams concept. So why I am telling you uh, repeatedly again and again is so these concepts is a dry concepts. Okay. So the concepts will be looking little bit of new to the things, but surely if you want to learn, if you learn this one, the logic and the programming building, whatever the programming language you are, you are. So this programming language will not be a barrier for you. The foundation concepts, which you are trying to learn it. 
these are the basic foundations for any programming language so that is the main thing so what we will learn first one is we will try to learn about the writable streams so that is one thing what i would be trying to tell you is first concept which we will be using is the writable streams so how to use the writable streams and we will see the next one is the implementing of the writable streams so how we can uh, use the writable streams and how we can implement the writable streams and the next one is so the so the concept which you need to understand is the writable streams so first one is the writable streams what is this writable streams how to use this writable streams and implement your own writable streams implementing writable streams okay so the next one which we will be having is the readable streams so these are all the different types of streams which you'll be having first one is the writable streams the second one is readable streams so how to use it using of this one and also how to implement so implementing so existing readable streams how to use it and how to implement your own readable streams so these are the two things which i want to tell you so the next one what i want to tell you is after ma mastering the readable streams and writable streams so what we will try to do it is duplex and transform streams so we have an another concept that is nothing but duplex and transform duplex stream and also the transform stream so totally we are having four types of streams one is readable stream writable stream duplex stream and also is transform stream so after mastering this readable streams and uh, writable streams we will explore the duplex streams these are the streams that are both readable and writable that is the con the combination of both readable stream and also in writable stream and we have a transform transform streams where while we are passing the data we can modify the data and we can pass it so that means nothing but encryption and decryption we can do it those are called as in transform streams so if you don't know about these terms and all the things don't worry about these all things we'll cover them in detail so now and afterwards after learning about this what are these ma duplex streams and transform streams so then we will learn another concept that is nothing but developing and using our duplex streams since a duplex stream is both readable and also writable understanding readable and writable streams first will make this easier so we will then afterwards we will create a duplex stream and we will use the duplex stream we created so that is the thing and after completion of this duplex stream we will develop the and use the transform streams a transform stream takes input data modifies it and outputs the transformed data so we will create a transform stream and use our transform stream so that is thing so and we will cover with an encryption and decryption example so with the transform stream to understand the transform streams better we will build an encryption and decryption system this involves working with raw binary data like zeros and ones so you should be familiar with these all things and we'll encrypt a file decrypt the file back to its original state so that is the transform stream so now in the upcoming videos we will be writing a lot of code and we will building and we will be building the simple applications at each step the goal is to gradually improve our understanding of streams so that is the main goal some parts of the code may not seem directly related to streams but they will help us grasp the bigger picture so this is one thing so now this will be a long and detailed section but uh, this all this this uh, stream section will be long and detailed one but writing code and completing changes ch challenges so you will be able to master the node js streams improve the performance of your application and you can take your node js skills to the next level so that's it guys about this concept what i want to tell you is the brief introduction of the streams concept so let's dive into the code and we we'll let's understand about the streams concept so that's it guys about the streams thing so different types of streams hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you